Welcome to an example on how to factor a quadratic expression using the technique of factor by grouping. Our goal here is to factor x squared minus 11x plus 28. Notice for this example, the coefficient of x squared is 1. So once we factor this using the grouping technique, we'll discuss a method for factoring these types of quadratic expressions that is much faster. The steps to factor a quadratic expression in the form ax squared plus bx plus c by grouping are given here. Step one is to find the factors of a, c that add to b. Let's first identify the values of a, b, and c. a is equal to the coefficient of x squared, which equals one. b is equal to the coefficient of x, which is negative 11. And c is equal to the constant term of positive 28. So now we'll determine the value of a times c. But notice here, because a equals one, a times c would be one times 28, which equals 28. So again, because a is equal to one, a c is just equal to c. So our goal here is to find the factors of positive 28 that add to b, where b equals negative 11. So we wanna find two numbers that when we multiply them, we get positive 28, but when we add them, we get negative 11. So the first thing to recognize here is that the product is positive and the sum is negative, then we're looking for two factors of positive 28 that are both negative. If you can just think of those factors, that's great. I'm gonna go ahead and list them. So we could have negative one times negative 28, negative two times negative 14, or negative four times negative seven. Again, we're looking for the two factors that have a sum of b, which equals negative 11, and therefore we're looking for the factors of negative four and negative seven. Again, because negative four plus negative seven is equal to negative 11, which is b. Step two, we're going to write the bx term, or in this case, the negative 11x term as a sum or difference using the factors from step one. We're using the factors negative four and negative seven. So we're going to rewrite negative 11x as either negative four x plus negative seven x or just negative four x minus seven x. If we change the order of the terms though, it still works, meaning we could write negative 11x as negative seven x minus four x, but we'll go ahead and leave it in this form. So rewriting the given expression, we would have x squared. Instead of negative 11x, we would have negative 4x minus 7x, and we still have plus 28. So notice how here, these two expressions are equivalent, but now we have four terms. In order to factor by grouping, we do have to have an even number of terms. So step three, we divide or group the polynomial into halves. So again, because we have four terms, we would divide the polynomial here. So the first group was on the left, the second group is on the right. Step four, we're now going to factor out the greatest common factor from the first half and the second half. So looking at just the first two terms, notice how the greatest common factor is x. So we'll factor out x, which will leave us with the quantity x minus four. Now looking at just the second half of the second two terms here, notice how the greatest common factor would be seven. But if we factor out positive seven, we'd be left with the factor of negative x plus four, and we do want the binomial factors to be the same. So let's go ahead and factor out negative seven rather than positive seven. So we'd have minus seven times the quantity. If we factor out negative seven, we're left with x minus four. Of course, we can distribute here to check. Notice how we still have negative seven x plus 28. And our last step is to factor out the common binomial factor, which in this case means we want to factor out the common binomial factor of x minus four from these two products. So if we factor out x minus four, notice how we'd be left with x minus seven, which is our second factor. Now we could change your this multiplication. It would still be correct to have the quantity x minus seven times the quantity x minus four. This is the commutative property of multiplication. So now we have the given quadratic expression in factored form. Of course, if we wanted to check this, we could find this product. And let's take a moment and do that. So if we have the quantity x minus four, times the quantity x minus seven. We'd have four products, we distribute x, and then we distribute negative four. So we'd have x times x, that's x squared. x times negative seven, so we have minus seven x. Negative four times x, so we have minus four x. And negative four times negative seven is positive 28, so we have plus 28. And simplifying by combining like terms, we have x squared 
minus 11x plus 28. So this does verify this is factored correctly. And as I mentioned earlier, while factor by grouping does work when we have a leading coefficient of one, there is a much quicker and easier way to factor this type of quadratic expression. And let's go ahead and take a look at that while we're here. When we have a quadratic expression with a leading coefficient of one, or when a equals one, meaning it's in the form x squared plus bx plus c, if the quadratic expression factors, it will factor into two binomial factors and the first term in each binomial factor will be x. So we'd have an x here and x here, and that's because x times x gives us the first term, x squared. And then step two, the factors of c that add to b are the constant terms in the binomial factors. So because a equals one, we can just ask the question, what factors of c, or in this case, positive 28, add to b, which in this case is negative 11. And then we already know that's going to be, and we already know the factors are negative four and negative seven, because negative four times negative seven equals positive 28, and negative four plus negative seven is equal to negative 11. And this is all we need in order to factor a quadratic in this form, because one of the factors is negative four, one of the binomial factors is going to be x minus four, and because one of the factors is negative seven, one of the binomial factors is going to be x minus seven. So this is a much quicker, easier way to factor a quadratic expression when the leading coefficient is one. But of course, factor by grouping also works. I hope you found this helpful.